Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back. Because I have yours. Now today, oh gosh, all of these cards fell out. Hold on, I was picking some cards up and putting them somewhere. And they all fell over. Excuse my hair. But this is how it came out. And these cards came over. So I don't have my little plastic thing under my chair. You guys know, if you listen to me, me and my chair have been having a love-hate relationship. I stopped putting my plastic thing over it, under it, because it was just slowing me down. And I'm struggling with the carpet. How about that? Okay, so what we have right now is we have the outsider in the reverse. We have the beyond illusion in reverse. We have burdens in the reverse, and we have aware awareness in reverse. And then, oh, they all came out in reverse, exhausted. So what this means to me, there's a connection here. There's a connection that has been causing you to be exhausted. Yeah, a host. Um, it says whether you, your space is physical or digital, you could find a lot of fulfillment and being a host, but the connection is here. A special connection will open doors for you on your path. It might, it may be a partner or a mentor, a client or a helpful friend. So, what I was gonna say is that I have been feeling like heavy, um, not necessarily unworthy in the boss because, of course, you know I'm a boss. I have all these different schedules and things like that. Um, I have, and I've been like taking time out, literally taking time out to do things that I wouldn't normally, I mean, to finish things. That's what I'm going to say right now. Let me pause this. I'm watching the gladiator. It's a new gladiator on, I think it's called Peacock or whatever, but I'm watching that. It's kind of good. But anyway, what I've been doing is I have been taking time out to water my own garden. Instead of me watering everybody else's, I vowed that I would complete something towards the end of the year or before the end of this year is up. Now, if you do and you have been following me, you know I'm in school. And um, that has been something to me. It, it's been, it means a lot to me because I, don't get me wrong, finish things, but it more so is a benefit, benefit to someone else's uh, cause because I like to stay on the back uh, burner and I don't like to be in competition with anybody, if that makes sense. And so maybe this is something that you can resonate with. But yeah, entitlement. I don't want to feel entitled about anything. So the lock is here. It says, remember that there is no competition if you are, are truly original. And I've always been original when it comes to my feelings, the way I do things, how I feel, and why I feel the way that I do. So I don't let anybody take that from me. But I don't want to feel entitled or I don't want to feel like I'm taking um, credit for the blessings that God or the universe gives me. So it says, why do you believe that they, that you deserve benefits and privileges that you haven't earned or worked for? I've never wanted to feel entitled. And so the conditioning is to go ahead. Okay, so here's the three locks and then it's to innovate the key, right? To open those locks up. So no, I don't feel entitled. I don't feel like I, um, you know, I'm in competition with anybody or I try to be in competition with anybody. So this is the steps that I, I'm kind of seeing here. So um, I don't want that, though, that uh, publicity or that um, sense of a badge of honor. I don't want that. I, I, I do things for out the kindness of my heart. We as cancers do that. But conditioning, it says, have you accepted the illusion, illus illusory limits? I don't know illusion illusory i don't know limits placed onto you by upbringing and social conditioning so um how does that work conditioning my, me conditioning myself to not you know to know that i i came from a lot my mother had a lot um my father was you know in and out of my life or whatever but because they divorced at a young age but my thing is is that i never felt like my environment or the environment that was around me that grew up in the perimeter around me because I grew up in a house um uh you know I mean the way I grew up was different so the way I was conditioned it was to 
um, work to go after the things that you wanted to not depend on anybody and things like that. And that was the way I was innovated. That, that's the, the innovation that I had, the key that I had and was taught. It says with right inspiration, you can bring a novel approach to a, almost anything. What you what can you innovate to contribute towards making the world a better place? And that was you guys listening to my voice. Training is here. Right. So I'm gonna put that down here because those cards came out. Um, so we have training. We have conditioning we have um entitlement and we have competition so i've never been in competition with anybody i've always had the key to be successful and to do things but i never wanted to take the accolades and things like that but at some point when it comes to me taking time out for myself this is the first time my kids are grown um, my grandbaby is here and you know she comes back and forth or whatever um so i am the boss right I host and I connect with a lot of people and give them my energy, right? But my awareness, um, I'm not, um, I'm not nervous when it comes to me going to the forefront anymore. I, I vowed that I would, I would finish things. I'm not going to be considered like the outsider. I'm just going to go ahead and do what I have to do. Um, I'm not exhausted anymore. I never was exhausted, but feeling this way of feeling like, okay, you're leaving people behind or you have to um, change uh, or keep people in your life because of certain things. There is an understanding. Look at that. There's an understanding that, um, you know, the miser, this is like somebody who is always being greedy. I've never been greedy, you know, so that has never been the situation. This is an old lady who's looking at everything with her jewels in her hand and it's a brick wall up. I've never been that way. I've always been able to give and not even receive. And so when it comes to uh, more, more, more morality, this is like um, in the reverse. It's being in reverse. I'm never like really in the process of feeling greedy, you know, and that's just us as cancers. But I didn't want a transformation because not necessarily a transformation. This is like, um, how do I put it? I did not want to end things uh to feel better about the things that i have you know so i'm not you know i like put my creativity on on hold we all do that so i'm just telling you because these cards fell out i wasn't planning on taking this but at some point i'm not stressing anymore about me doing something and you know not being afraid to grow because at one point it was a lot of stress there it was a lot of immaturity of feeling sad for people that you know maybe need help, needed, needed health and help and growth. Does that make sense? And you knew that you just stayed there and your connections with people like made you dumb yourself down in a respectful manner. I'm not saying that, um, you know, it's just like everybody doesn't have your gift. Um, and you don't take that lightly or you don't take that and use it, uh, you know, uh, for, for your benefit. You just go ahead and keep trying to pump the good energy into them. But, you know, I say that to say that this year was, I vowed to myself to complete things. And so that's where I'm at. But, you know, like Denzel Washington said, yeah, simplify your life. Like Den Denzel Washington said, yeah, inner strength. Um, he says that when um, you're you're doing what you're supposed to do, that's when the, the devil appears, you know. And when you're not and you're doing everything for everyone else, then, oh, wait. you know when you're trying to master things because i was underneath there so training master is what i see so far but when you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing that's when the devil appear when you're trying to master the things that you see basically for yourself and doing the right thing for yourself and not really just you know pulling yourself back in order to and being exhausted because somebody else's energy you just basically took time out to recognize your inner strengths and it says don't lose yourself in things you can't change focus on the things you can change attitude mindset and energy you got everything you need and so the innovate the key is you being able to inspire not only yourself but others but instant manifestation you're able to manifest um, as a cancer and as an empath you're able to manifest when somebody else cannot so you have you recognize your strengths um, and that's basically what I was saying you recognize your strengths and this is why this energy is always here because you've changed the outcome of where you were in the past. And, you know, and this, this is for me too. And 
you know, scheduling, you know, taking time out for yourself, doing things that you need to do, being your own boss, really realizing, you know, about the unworthy energy that you feel, but hosting and being, and having certain connections. It says, do you genuinely believe in your worthiness to attain your abundance and desire? So at some point, you know, I'm not going to say you felt unworthy and you did not want success. You wanted to put and breathe life into other people, if that makes sense. So simplifying life, it says life is meant to be simple and easy. Don't let superficial energies distract you from your true essence. Simplicity and purity will lift your spirit. And so that's what always makes you feel good is the simplicity of, you know, helping others achieve the things that you know that nobody is fighting and rooting for them for. But when you decide, and I can say speak for for um, myself is that when you decided to accomplish things or to uh, finish things right when you're at the finish line, that's when things start to feel rocky and you start to really uh, question things. And it says instant, manifest, instant manifestation. Soul and mind working together create a dream in the heart. You have nothing to lose. You carry the dream. Your intentions is pure. Be ready to receive. So here's the thing. When you become the master of all the things that you want, the boss, you know, your schedule, putting time out, taking time out for yourself, the connections. It says a special connection will open doors for you on your path. It says it may be a partner or a mentor, a client, or a helpful friend, you know, that's going to help you not just simplify your life, but really push you towards reaching your goals. And so when it comes to, you know, maintaining your schedule and doing things for yourself, the universe is like, yeah, keep going. Keep going because those energies that you felt before are not there. You don't feel like, you know, you don't need to feel like, you know, because you are able to manifest and do things that other people uh, may not be able or may not know when it comes to their power. Yeah, look at that. Don't question the universe. And that's where you were when it came to your feelings. Exactly. So here we go. We got feelings here, right? It says take time to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing. And then it says acceleration. So you keep yourself stagnant because you're trying to push everybody else forward. And it says in the upright, speed up and chase the results you want. But you don't want to do that in the universe. It says the universe is guiding you towards that special someone. Just let everything take its course. You're not trying to let anything take its course. And it says indication. And this is in the reverse. Watch for the signs that lead you to, to true love. You're, you're cutting off everything. So you're, you cut off everything when it came to feelings, when it came to feeling these ways and being exhausted and needing change but not really wanting it because you don't want the responsibility. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. You don't want the responsibility behind it. But the moment is here. It says think of a special moment that brought you and your partner a lot of joy. And so recognizing your inner strengths and understanding that there is things and people and places and situations that's going to be out there bringing you joy. This could be past or present, but observe and the moment is like you living in the present moment and remembering how it felt to be loved or to where you felt like this situation could be much further but you know you kind of waited for somebody to express themselves and that never happened notice all of the noteworthy things in your relationship and so at this point there are no you know right now you're in a point to where you are sorry I sound like I was in a fishbowl let me turn this around you were in a point to where you were feeling like okay me simplifying my life and really trying to gain focus and gain control of my emotions I I'm at this moment trying to really feel you know trying to see what I feel when it comes to you know integrating a relationship and not just you know doing things alone yeah and you know that it felt good to be a certain way. Yeah, keep it zero. You're unsure about keep it coming around. Having faith, love is coming. Surprise invitations, stuck in, stuck by, struck by love. You're unsure about that. So the best thing for you to do is to have new beginnings, but uh, have their transition or to be reborn. Death energy. Death isn't the end. Uh, excuse me. Embrace change. Let go of what no longer serve you. Death is the end. Is a transformation that brings new beginnings, but not. When it comes to these love, sorry, I hit my hand, my microphone on my bracelet. The healing heart is here. You've healed heartbreak, the toxicity, the addictions, the abusive, maybe relationships at this present moment. But you're looking like mm -mm, old school, outdated thinking. So the people that you were dealing with, 
and your your way you deal is old school, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. That's you looking and going back to looking at the moment like I'm observing. So old school, observing, uh, nostalgia, things like that of what I really want and is love one of the things. No, it's, it's ending. Like, nope, I can just do all this stuff without love. And the universe is like, no. You need to focus on your feelings and understand that that wasn't everything. Yeah, there may be a situation to where somebody wants to resolve the issues of love or live in harmony or get back together. But this person placed thing or situation where it came to abusive relationships, toxicity, addictions, and the heartbreak is because this person was living a double life. They were lying, deception, and in other relationships. And so at this moment, once you start getting there, it's like, oh, I remember how I fell in love. You turn around and be like, oh, and I remember why I gained my strength back because, yeah, egg on their face. Yeah, this person, it says um, backfire, got caught. This person got caught with the things that they were doing. So you decided to, you know, just move forward and not really look at the past. And so the universe is showing you that, you know, not even just a reconciliation, but you resolving the issues of, of how you feel. And, you know, you've accomplished this when it came to doing things the way that you needed to do and simplifying your life and not worried about the emotions of heartbreak and trying to heal from that. You keep thinking back and forth like, but what if? And then it's like, well, what if it's a new person? But then you're like, no, what if it's that old person that keeps coming back? Am I ready to, oh no. And then you like, shut the door, I'm done. You know, and so that is how I see that energy. This comes out, I hate nothing about you because you still love this person outdated yeah so outdated comes again um where was outdated at do 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 noteworthy oh old school old school so outdated expired dis disused old news and discarded so the double life all that shit was outdated to you and you have you're you're cautious right now about where you are you know the instant manifestation being the master of this whole thing you know you want to grow with but, you know, again, in the back of your head, it's like, but what if I move forward and, you know, this person comes back around or something like that. But, you know, the thing is, when it came to my energy of where I'm at, you know, it was me finishing the stuff that I started, that I said I was going to finish by the end of the year. And now everything comes to the halt, a halt because, again, uh, when it comes to the three of wands, my outlook on or the, the things that um that uh th there's delays there's a delay in my schedule right now and i've been working on it for the last three or four i've been working on it for since may but it really is starting to hit me in the last three or four weeks so when those delays come up when you start to feel some kind of way then you turn around and it's like up oh, here goes the struggle again five of pentacles five years you've been struggling to get to this point of saying that you're going to do this reaching a plateau and also trying to be the king of wands energy which is, you know, you seeing the big picture, overcoming all the challenges that you had in the past, but you reach this plateau again, and you're back to feeling like the struggle was there, you know, like you don't see the outlook of what's going to happen. And, you know, that, that makes sense to me right now, you know, and the King of Wands, again, you know, everything that you, you want to go back to, to get your mind off of things. Yeah, Chariot, move forward and move forward is outdated. <laughs> and you're having conflict with yourself five of wands energy <laughs> you're having conflict with the cautions which came out egg on their face you know uh, somebody getting caught the love situation those types of things are what's happening right now and so when it comes to you simplifying your life you did that when it came to you making a schedule you did that but when it comes to you actually discussing moving on um or being stagnant or feeling feeling like this energy would keep you stagnant again this energy would keep you stagnant again you're like nope i'm going to go move forward burn rubber you know you drop the bomb on me nope you know like those type of energies and so you gotta figure out how to get through that and that is where the hermit energy goes soul searching and then we have the lovers <laughs> lovers energy doing what makes your heart happy you got to do what's going to make you happy but in the reverse you don't want it to be in for energy, a lack of stability in regards to your decisions. And so that is how I see that with the seven of wands energy being in the reverse too, 
The Seven of Wands energy just lets you know that you're kind of like giving up or you feel overwhelmed again when it comes to this thing called love. This reconciliation is here or it's coming towards you. And, you know, you're just like, nope. It was, it was, I had to do this to liberate myself. The new beginnings, unsure, unsure about the Ace of Wands energy. Yep. And the Ten of Pentacles energy. You're unsure about all of this energy. The Ace of Wands energy is having the courage to go after the things you desire. You know, you're unsure about that. And so when it comes to you having like your passion, the things that, you know, that you, you've been passionate about and had the courage to, to deal with when it comes to the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles energy, it's almost 10 years and you're still unsure about this thing called love or even moving forward with someone. You're unsure about it. And it's like, I hate nothing about you. And this might be the energy for someone else. But when you get to thinking about that energy, you turn around and fold, you know? Yeah, there's no balance here. You know, you want balance, but there, you also look at things, death, energy, end, endings, embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end. It's the transformation to bring new beginnings. And, you know, this is the balance that you've had, but it also comes with the two of swords, being able to trust in yourself and seeing the beauty, but stop overthinking about the heartbreak. Yep, yep, t uh, three of swords energy. Stop overthinking about the heartbreak, but, it, but you know, move forward. The ten of wands energy, you know, from the burdens. Move forward from the burdens and the toxicities and just, you know, keep winning and keep letting things you know, go from there and following your heart, Knight of, Wand, Knight, of, Knight of Cups energy and recognizing your strengths. Yeah, so so that is where you are when it comes to this situation. And, you know, again, the burdens are always going to be there, but you understanding the direction to a wand's energy, where you want to go and making decisions to, you know, and planning for the future um, Queen of Wands energy with confidence. You have to understand the Knight of Pentacles. You did the work. You did the work. You did the work and whatever the universe brings to you, you're going to be able to provide financially to nurture and to be practical when it comes to ooh, when it comes to situations. So we have the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. So, again, the King of, King of Pentacles is somebody that, you know, has like a leadership skills, is disciplined. Again, the boss type energy that's able to create their schedule and also live in harmony as well, no matter what they're going through, you know. And this is like... Um, what did the King of Pentacles say? Hold on. Um, sorry, and I can't think of what the King of Pentacles said. Uh, the King of Pentacles says, there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely is what the King of Pentacles is. And that's with you having harmonious energy or walking away from the things that no longer serve you. Six of Pentacles, six, excuse me, Six of Swords energy. But it all comes with Page of Cups energy, doing things like a childlike, going back to what makes you happy and being a dreamer so if this is you reconciling with somebody else take a leap be the fool but if this is a new love don't be afraid to move forward because of the past energies you have to let it go let it flow and send strength and healing but not and not be in limbo hangman energy uh when it comes to the five of pinnacles struggle five years been struggling for five years coming out again when it comes to the ten of cups happy life happy wife but you know ace of swords energy you have to have the clarity on what's holding you back and that's the nine of uh i think the biggest picture is the feelings that you have are because you know that with this situation you never set boundaries and that's what the nine of wands energy is is setting boundaries and now here it is you're having anxiety because you're afraid that if you move forward and be courageous when it comes to ace of pentacles energy you having different opportunities manifest in abundance you're not sure if you're going to be able to see the big picture. You're not going to be able to see if you're going to grow, grow or look ahead uh, because what you see is the seeds that you planted when it comes to, you know, um, you only live once. Drake energy all comes with you having to relearn, unlearn to relearn Page of Pentacles energy. The Page of Pentacles is somebody that's able to mine, manifest, which, you know, and that's financial, mental, you know, it's developing and doing the work but it also is having a completion when it comes to the past and that is where the queen of swords come in which you're standing up for yourself always speaking your mind and not taking shit for anyone but the three of pentacles is you learning how to work with somebody as a team as a cohesive unit and that all comes with being grateful for your past relationships and experiences and also why you reach this plateau of 
learning how to simplify your life and not really hold on to the past, but learn from the past. Six of Cups energy, but it all takes for you to go through this conflict, Five of Wands energy, in order for you to move forward with the chariot. So I guess that is a really good read. Chariot comes out here. And I think that that's the really good thing about having balance is that you'll be able to see exactly what it is that you need to do. I'm going to pull from the uh, Twin Flame Soulmate um, Karmic Partner to see what comes out. But again, your inner strength is there, but you got to live in the present moment and not in the past and not be afraid of the past. The past causes fear and the future causes anxiety. And right now, because of the past, you're having anxiety based upon what's going to happen in the future. And you just have to be able to realize the luster love and regret. I understand what the regret is, twin flame energy. It says living in the past with regrets can take a toll on your mental health. Uh, start making positive choices to live a happy and empowered life. And so that's what the universe is telling you. Move forward to live a happy, empowered life. Get away from outdated energies. You know, don't have old conversations. Stop living in regret. Stop worrying about the past, the abusive energies or the um, toxicity of the past and live in the present moment and recognize your strengths. And that's what the universe is saying. It also is saying lusting. It says, is it love or lust? The sex can be um, out of this world, but do you really have a deep connection? Does What does this person really add to your life besides good sex? And hmm, that is where the reconciliation has to come in at. And that is where you have to ask yourself that watching you. It says they miss you, but... They are safer watching you from a distance. And it says, and this is toxic energy, or trying to overcome their fears by checking on your social media. So this is what they have to live in regret because you're moving forward. So you have to ask yourself, is this something that you're ready to do? Because you've already accomplished a lot of things. So don't get to the end close to where they're almost you know, done and get back to going backwards and re trying to reconcile with a situation. Yeah. Because it broke you in the past. Disappointment, disillusionment, and heartbreak. And diligent, focus, breakthrough, and vision. So you have to be diligent and focus on um, what what the present moment is and not really learn from the past. Like old Rafiki said, you either run from it, uh, you either learn from it or you run from it, you know? And he hit Simba and she, he said, what'd you do that for? It doesn't matter. It's in the past. Friendly love, harmony, and respect. You can respect somebody from a distance and be friendly Say, hey, how you doing? But keep it moving. And that's where the old energy is of why you had to walk away. Expired, dis disused, old news, and discarded energy. Because that energy made you live with a lot of regrets. And either you're going to learn from it and figure out and have a breakthrough from it and realize why this energy broke you and actually ask yourself, is this lust or love? So there you have it. Um, I think that was a really good read. Um, it started off with this energy of the scheduling and things like that of where you decide to do something for this full year, or it doesn't matter if it's a year or not. We have five years. We have nine years out here. Um, whether you decided to do something this year or have the confidence and courage to stop feeling this heavy energy and to be able to schedule, make schedules, to say yes or no, to be your boss, to realize the unworthy energy that was around you, to make different connections and to simplify your life based upon what you want to do, not what somebody else wanted you to do. But when this energy of reconciliation comes back up or things not working out when you're right there, because, you know, as soon as you get right there, that's when, you know, the devil shows his face and the toxic energy already came out. And you just have to be able to make a decision on what really broke you and if you're going to allow it to continue to break you. And this is you not hating anything about a person or the past, trying to figure out, you know, you already got to the point to where you're like, this happened, let's move forward. But you don't hate nothing about them. You actually still love this person, place, thing, or situation. You love them, but you have to realize what broke you in the past. And now you have to learn from it. So ask yourself, is this lust or love? Now let's pull from the four agreements. And then we're going to pull from the crystal deck. And if you want to know my crystal
perspective of the four agreements in the crystal deck. I'll put it up above. The black agate is here and be impeccable with your words. Say what you want, mean what you mean what you say. And this is you manifesting. And it says that here. It says manifest your true intentions. It says regardless of what language you speak, excuse me, you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through your word. And that's where you, you focus on your inner strength and start simplifying your life and making your schedule and stop feeling all of these different feelings and, you know, uh, not let anything control your emotions. And so the black agate is you grounding yourself, the root chakra, grounding, protecting, and calming yourself. And it says, I release emotional issues and are gently and they and they are gently healed so that's what you need to do is understand and focus on have this breakthrough focus on your inner strength and what makes you happy and yours and what makes you happy is a simplified life the other life that you were living the things that you were doing and why you felt so overwhelmed like you were dealing with immaturity and you you know you always felt sad where where now you're happy it's because you have to get to this point of figuring out did this really happen? I'm mean, not. Did it really happen? Is this is this really love? Is it lust or love? And why do I feel this way? So again, I release emotional issues and they are gently healed. I release emotional issues and they are gently healed. And that's what these issues are that you kind of put on the back burner and didn't really kind of focus on, if you ask me. But hey, that's fine. You have to deal with it the way that you need to. And so, again, the manifestation, you being able to manifest and to have balance when it comes to, do, 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 where's that? Um, where did it go? Oh, here it is. Manifestation and being the master and training what you've learned from that. You're the master. And it says instant manifestation. So what you're learning is to have balance and to be able to manifest and to get through your emotions. And so... There you have it. Let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. Or lust or love. I love you guys.